Hi, it's Steve. And if you know my channel, you know that I like laser cubes. They're small and powerful, but they're also pretty expensive. So when I found out about this Sheds Consta laser, I was curious to see how it compared to a laser cube. And in this video, I want to first unbox one and then look at both of them side by side, comparing their features and specs and see how they're both similar in many ways, but also quite different. And finally, watch both of them side by side with the hazer going. All right, let's see what's in the box. We have an instruction manual, DMX cable, PowerCon cable, and the laser. Wicked Laser makes a few different laser cube models. This is the 2.5 watt Pro, which has recently been replaced by the 2.5 watt Ultra. They also sell a 1.2 watt and a 7.5 watt model. And this is a Shed's 6 watt Consta laser. There's also a 12 watt version as well as a 3 and a 6 watt moving head version. And when I first saw this thing online, I somehow thought it was going to be smaller like the laser cube. So I was a little bit surprised when I opened it up and saw how big it was. The laser cube weighs about four pounds. The Consta laser about 11. On the front, you can see they both have these adjustable beam blockers. And on the back, they have on off switches, ILDA ports, and RJ45 network ports where they can connect to a computer. But that's where a lot of the similarities end. The laser cube can also connect to a computer via Wi-Fi with its antenna, and the Consta laser can connect to a DMX controller with these DMX in and out jacks. As the laser cube is only controlled by a computer or an Android or an iOS device, it just has a simple single LED for feedback, which can change color and blinks depending on its operating status. Because the Consta laser can operate in a standalone mode, it has a small LCD screen and a menu input knob for controlling it. For power, the laser cube has an internal battery that charges with this power adapter plugged into a DC jack. The Consta laser powers with AC connected with a PowerCon cable in this in jack, and there's also an out jack for daisy chaining. They both have an eye bolt for hanging more safely, but the laser cube also has the addition of a key lock and an inner lock connect, all for additional safety. And speaking of safety, these are seriously powerful machines that can blind you or your audience if they aren't used properly. In the USA, you need to obtain something called a variance from the FDA, which is basically a permit that you can get online. And it shows that you know how to safely operate one of these guys. Here's a comparison of some of the technical specifications taken from information provided online by the manufacturers. The LaserCube comes with its own software called Laser OS, and this software is amazing. It's a real Swiss Army knife of different functions with hundreds of different patterns, animations, a beam show creator, timeline editor, musical functions, mapping, and the list goes on and on. And you can download the software for free. The Consta laser is controlled using this little menu screen where you access its different modes and functions, including choosing patterns and animations, which are organized in different show lists and can also be run in both auto and sound modes. You can also use a DMX controller to pick different libraries and then patterns within each library. And you can control things like the speed or color of an animation, among other parameters. As of August 2023, a LaserCube 2.5 watt Ultra, which is the closest thing to this 2.5 watt Pro, is selling for $28.49 on the X Laser website. And the Consta Laser 6 watt is selling for $349. Now, obviously, that's a huge difference, and a lot of you might say it's not even fair to compare an apple with an orange, but there you have it. Let's watch them now, both running with the hazer side by side. 